Hey, Ryan. Yeah? So... Mom's worried about us both. And I was just thinking, maybe with her gone, it'd be a good time for us to, to sit down and, and sort Listen, out our issues. I, I appreciate it. I, I don't have the time or energy really right now for this. I've been selfish lately. I'm sorry. Well, you're right about the selfish part, but, you know, what are you sorry about? Ross threw a party yesterday. You know I had an exam today. Or whenever I have people over, you always put me down, make fun of me, like what? You know, doesn't feel genuine, man. All right, Ryan, I've been very selfish lately, and I'm sorry, but at least I'm acknowledging it, right? Dude, I'm sorry. I mean it. I have to start doing better for you. Ross! I do better for myself. Ross. What? You see that? What the hell? Is that your buddy or something? Is it yours? No, it's probably just someone roaming around. I'm gonna close the blinds. The bottom line is that there doesn't have to be this much tension between us. You need to call the cops. Right now, we gotta hide. Ryan, did you lock the front door?
<laughs> you all right, bud? Yeah, I'm a little shaken up. I think I'm all right. You? What's this? Oh, whatever it is, probably important to mom or dad. Why is it important as us to mom and dad? Listen, man, I'll, I'll, I'm sorry. I, maybe, maybe I was selfish too. I, I just, it's, it's just been hard to me. Look, blood or not, you're still my brother. And I care about you. Ever since, ever since my dad left, it's been, it's been very hard to cope. But I'm glad I got you. I'm glad I got you. I'm glad I got you too, man. <laughs>